Hello, this is August 25th, 1982 at the Colorado State Fair in Pueblo, Colorado. We're going to see the first segment of the 7th Annual Texas Longhorn Show today. We're going to meet Lowell Gimmer, the current Mountains and Plains Texas Longhorn Association President, and hear John Thatcher. John, sure like to thank you for the job you've done. It looks like, we have, it looks like we've got a lot of good cattle and people. And everything seems to be going pretty good. Low, it looks like it's going to be another top show because people bring their good cattle. This will be the fourth year in a row that we've been at the top beef show in the Colorado State Fair. And as you know, this is the only major total Texas Longhorn show at any state fair. When I say total, I mean that this show does not have any sale involved and there's no other shows like this in the nation. Well, you kind of gave the other states something to shoot at, it looks to me like. I've heard rumors some of these other state fairs kind of looking at it. Yeah, there's three other state fairs that are patterning their shows after us, and we hope and wish them a lot of good luck in the future. But they're going to have to whip up to compete with this show. Well, it looks like these Longhorns have made a comeback as far as people looking at them as well as in the beef industry. I don't think there's any question about the comeback of the Longhorns. We just started, though, and from now on it's all uphill. The people in the past have done the hard work. It's, the gravy's waiting for us. Well, I know there's a lot of interest in the cattle. There were people coming around and looking at them and asking questions. And, you know, they're doing a good job for the commercial man now. That's what makes me feel good. Yes. In, talking about the commercial men, there was a man here today that's trying to put together a feeder sale show with these crossbred cattle, which is just one of the many things that's happening down the road in the future. Well, you know, that's right. I've talked with several people who've had these cattle in feed lot, and we've had them ourselves. And they'll hold right up your crossbred longhorn crosses will hold right up with any breed of cattle in the feed lot. In fact, it's better when it's uh, just lean meat. Yeah, there's a lot of good points to the longhorns, and there's a lot of feedlot people that are learning. I'm Bob Garrett. I'm from Deep, Nevada. And I've been selected the longhorn judge at this Colorado State Fair this year, and I'm real honored to be so. Uh, the people that brought the cattle in here brought a really a fine group of cows. It's been nice to start with this set of cows for uh, and heifers for a herd. You couldn't go wrong here, and I and I really appreciate seeing all the good turnout. Kelly Peterson, I'm the reigning right. queen for the Mountain Plains Texas Longhorn Association, and it's really a pleasure for me to be back in Colorado, and especially um, to be at the Colorado State Fair, and it's it's really a privilege, especially this time because my dad is judging the the Longhorn Show here, and it, it's I think Longhorns are growing um, in popularity all over the United States, and I know that they've cer certainly made a big difference in the cattle industry um, on our ranch. I know that it's a new breed that has a big future. My name is Julius Roberts, Quinalarga Cattle Company. I'll be working in the arena with these cattle today. The first class will be yearling heifers. Second class will be the junior cows. And then the senior cows. Cow calf pairs. 
You've just heard Howard Bader, our official Texas Longhorn Show announcer. Now let's look at some of the people who are working the cattle today. This is Skip Donnelly on the Gray Horse from Beulah, Colorado. This is our official judge, Bob Garrett from Deeth, Nevada. This is Julius Roberts from Walsenburg. This shows our judge again. This is Lowell Gimmer from Levita with a red shirt, Skip Donnelly. This is Shelly Peterson, Bobby Garrett's daughter. As you can see, these heifers are not cultured, flipped, or shampooed, or otherwise fancied up. They are being shown in their everyday range work clothes in range condition. This, in the opinion of the Texas Longhorn breeders, is as it should be and only ability to travel, alertness, and femininity. <coughs> Texas Longhorns, by the very name, imply longhorns, and justifiably so. Therefore, horn shape, length, and configuration also will be considered by our judges. Color also comes in for some evaluation and consideration. Judging Texas Longhorn cattle therefore becomes a rather complex and difficult job. Our congratulations go to Bobby Garrett for accepting this judging position this year. As always, the Colorado State Fair has attempted to bring the best qualified judge available. I have surely acquired their first Longhorns in either 1967 or 68. They now run some 40 mother Texas Longhorn cows on their Nevada ranch. Bobby is also very much involved in the commercial end of ranching as he runs some 10,000 head of steers on their 440,000 acre ranch. As you can imagine, this takes a pretty good sized payroll of from 20 to 30 ranch hands. Ed is his right hand man and able to assist his dad in the ranch operation. Bob and Shirley Garrett have three daughters, all of whom are married. Bobby, welcome to the Colorado State Fair and we enjoy, certainly hope you enjoy your stay here. There will be two other classes of Longhorns judged today. Immediately following this heifer class will be class 103, junior cow and calf pairs. Calf dropped in 82, cow, cow will be five years of age or younger. Following that class will be class 104, senior cow and calf pairs. Cows will be six years of age or older with her this year's calf at size. Our judge, based upon recent sales, these animals probably conservatively have a net worth of at least $100,000. This doesn't mean that all Texas Longhorn heifers will cost a buyer that much, but it does mean that each of these females represent the best heifer that that particular breeder raised. just seen a number of Texas Longhorn breeders and friends at the Colorado State Fair watching the yearling Texas Longhorn Heifer Show. This has been one of the most spectator pleasing shows at the Colorado State Fair. The interest that the new breeders have in watching this show is absolutely amazing as people watch in the stands studying and trying to determine which ones will be the winners. They look at color, confirmation, horns, uh, the quality of the cattle. These are beautiful cattle. 
Now we'll get back to the judge's placings as he's just about got his mind made up. Our official announcer, Howard Bader, will uh, give the final decision of the judge, Bobby Garrett from Deeth, Nevada. He's looked at these cattle now for about 15 or 20 minutes. We're going to have a decision pretty soon. Now the men are gathering to uh, pick out the ones that have placed. Here Julius Roberts is going to drive the first place heifer out for her introduction. Today's second place heifer, Missing Link, is one of four full sisters, all born by embryo transfer the same week. Her full sister, Sweet and Low, was first place and she was second. Today we're seeing things happen in the Texas Longhorn breed that are very exciting to us all. We're seeing a greater and greater quality of cattle being developed by a number of different breeders are working very hard to improve the quality of the stock. The third place heifer today here is Miss Bar M. Brindle Lady, owned by Bar Flying M. Cattle Company of Yuma, Colorado. Look at the height and length and the beautiful horns on these pretty heifers. Blues, Julia, the slate hue, and mouse colors, appeared. 
The selectors at Bishop Hawk Campers, extensive cattle ranch in southern Colorado. Once established in setting up a sure supply of Texas cattle from John Chisholm and others, he carried out Oliver Loving's final wish. He returned to Fort Sumner and picked up Loving's body and returned it to Texas, where it was buried in 1867 and was used until 1884. Now it looks like our judge, Mr. Garrett, is coming close to making his decision. He's uh, starting to pick out the first place winner. Here he's driving her out of the herd. This is Bull Fran, owned by Gene Wicklin of Castle Rock, Colorado. Bull Fran is a young daughter of Bull Ruler out of the Wright Cow Francis. Here's the second choice, Kaiser II, owned by John Roberts of San Antonio, Texas. This is a beautiful feminine cow with a clean neck and uh, underline. Beautiful cow with a big, fat, pretty red and white spotted calf. 46 and a half inch horns. Here she is with her calf. Here's another shot of Bull Fran, the first place winner. This was a very tough class of young cows. This is a third place winner, Manchinita, owned by T. Lazy S. Ranch, with her Reveille heifer at side. This is the fourth place winner, Miss Shahan 152, owned by Bar Flying M. Cattle Company of Yuma, Colorado. Here they're going in to pick out the fifth place winner, this brown. Yates' cow here is Kitten 4, owned by T. Lazy S. Ranch of Rama. The sixth place winner was a cow named Spook, owned by Yellow Pine Ranch. The seventh place winner was Sunflower 774, owned by Bar Flying M. Cattle Company. The eighth place was Little Sancho, owned by Thatcher Ranch. Ninth was Miss Priss, owned by Doyle Johnson of Luca Chuka, Arizona. Tenth place was 3S 358, owned by Bar Flying M Cattle Company. Now in comes the first and second place winners in each of the three divisions of the Texas Longhorn Female Show for the judging of the Grand Champion and Reserve Champion Female. This will be the yearling heifers. The two here are pictured nearest the camera. Then the first and second place cow and the junior cat, cow calf pair class. The first and second place winner in the senior cow calf pair class. Now our judge is looking these over closely and here he's made a decision. He's selected Sweet and Low as the grand champion female the 1982 Colorado State Fair. Here she's been driven out for public viewing for all the spectators in the grandstand. The second choice for the reserve champion female is Missing Link. The full sister, this is the first and second place winners that were selected out of the yearling heifer class.
This concludes our Texas Longhorn Steer Show for this year. We invite you to come back tomorrow for the youth heifer class, yearling bull class, junior and senior steer class. We thank you.